Good morning. I'm Stacy. And I'm Erin. And this is Biblio Bites. We've got a great week coming up this week. Um, first of all, the Friends of the Library book sale is going on. Uh, it will start with a Friends preview just for Friends members on uh, Tuesday and then be open to the public uh, Wednesday at 10 a.m. So we've got that looking forward to uh, all week going on. Um, so what's going on on Tuesday, Erin? Well, it's a really exciting time in the Youth Services Department. We start our fall story hour session for babies, toddlers, and preschoolers. So that means uh, you sign up once and you come for six weeks of story hours. And we've got some really fun stuff planned oh, great. Uh, for this fall. Good. That's always a good time. Uh, also on Tuesday uh, at 6.30, we've got Victorian Death Customs uh, presented by jo Jonna Walden, the president of the Kentucky Genealogical Society. Uh, so that's really going to be a nice an educational program, for perfect for Halloween. It's so. fascinating. Yeah, yeah. So I hope that you'll be able to join us for that one. And then on Thursday, we've got a pretty big event going on at 6 p.m., the Kentucky Book Festival preview party with the Kentucky Humanities. Uh, it's kind of a big deal. The book fair is coming up. This is going to be the preview fair or the, the preview party for the for the book festival. Um, they will pre be presenting the first ever Kentucky Humanities Cara West Literary Award um, at, at at here at the library during the event. And author Liz Swanson will discuss her new book, Wondrous Things. So there will be a book signing afterwards as well. That's a great start to the Kentucky Book Fair. Yes. Yes, it is. And then on Thursday night, we have our Hogwarts Feast and Fun. That sounds so it's, good. It's, it will be wonderful. If you have a kid at your house who's really into Harry Potter, check it out on our website, the Hogwarts Feast and Fun, Thursday night at 6.30. Uh, more information and registration information is on our website. That sounds great. And then Saturday, we're getting a kid's costume party at 11 a.m. That's going to be fun. Um, if you have a child, wants to dress up, come on down. We're going to have crafts and games. It'll be a good time. It's, it's a great time, and it encourages, I encourage the whole family to come and the whole family to dress up if you yes. get costumes. That sounds so <laughs> great. All right. What are you reading this week, Erin? Well, I'm, I try and read along with some of our book groups here okay. at the library. So the teen book group is working on um, The Giver by Lois Lowry. So I have read this book. Uh, a number of times, but I'm rereading it uh, right now. You might remember it was a movie a few years mm -hmm, ago, but mm -hmm. movies very seldom do the books justice, true. And, and that's true with this one. So uh, it's just a wonderful book to really think about uh, where memories lie in in our world and how important it is to remember um, things from the past. True. It's a good book. What are you reading, Stacey? Uh, I am reading a uh, book called Solus. Actually, I just finished it. I'm on the second one in the series. Uh, Solus by Gail Carriger. Uh, it is a fantasy, steampunk, supernatural with werewolves and vampires who have been um, accepted into London society. And it's it's very it's very good. Oh, that sounds <laughs> excellent. That might be my next grown-up <laughs> book I read. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good. <laughs> and the uh, the main character uh, does not have a soul, and she uh, when she touches a a supernatural creature, they revert back to human. So it's it's good. That, that sounds and amazing. It's very, it's very light and quick read. It's, it's perfect for October. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> All right, that's it for this week. Uh, hope you'll uh, join us for some of these great programs coming up, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.